All right, so this is the book from Peekaboo. Uh, this version I have in front of me here is uh, the eight inches by six inches version. Um, they also have uh, an 11 inch uh, by eight and a half inch uh, version. Now, the way I rated this book, um, overall, uh, it's not great. I mean, uh, the, the, the front cover, uh, I gave the front cover uh, an average photo quality. Um, it's pretty good. They don't allow any spine printing, which I, I don't particularly like, but the uh, front and back look, look quite good. Um, the paper quality, I, uh, I sort of qualified as being uh, average. Um, it, it's good, but uh, pretty much all these photo books have good paper quality, so the paper has to be uh, really outstanding for me to uh, rate it into, uh, you know, the excellent category or something like that. Um, one of the things uh, that I did not like about it, though, was the print quality. Now, it's going to be a little bit hard to tell from this, but overall, the images and the uh, print quality, they were a little bit dark. Um, that was one of the things that I noticed. Now, this particular book I'm holding in front of me here, uh, this was the sort of post-adjustment uh, version of the book. So the first version I got of the uh, book from Peekaboo, the images were quite a bit darker, and so I actually had to go in and uh, boost uh, the brightness across all these images. So um, you generally shouldn't have to do that. I mean, if, if you have your images uh, looking good and the brightness is set correctly, um, you shouldn't have to obviously get a book that has bad print quality and then adjust it and then re-request the book because uh, nine times out of 10, uh, the photo book printing company is not actually going to um, you know, give you a reprint just because of uh, your photos not being dark enough or not being light enough, rather. So yeah, so paper quality, I said average. Uh, print quality, I put in the poor uh, category. Um, again, this looks good here, but this is because I had to adjust it. Uh, in terms of the cover quality, I said it was average, and the overall uh, quality, I said it was average. So Peekaboo, um, in general, they're not bad, um, but given the better quality uh, I've seen from other uh, from other um, printers out there, I wouldn't probably use Peekaboo again. And the other reality also is that uh, to do a 60-page uh, custom cover book at the time I'm shooting this video would actually cost about $119, about $120 bucks, uh, US, and that is really expensive for the uh, 11 by 8.5. This version here, uh, this 8 inch by 6 inch, was $70. Now, at pretty much every other printer out there, uh, $70 will get you a much bigger book. So Peekaboo doesn't really do very well from a, a value perspective or a print quality perspective.